If you're struggling to turn your hips on your forehand and contact out in front, then I want you to focus on one particular thing. Now, this video is courtesy of 12KGP Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I'll put their link in the description below. I want you to pay particular attention to how the pros, and here's Emma Raducanu showing it perfectly, how she moves her non-hitting hand forward. Watch her non-hitting hand go forward. That move right there is basically the catalyst that allows the hips to rotate. That is what is going to allow you to contact out in front. When you film yourself from the side, you should see that your contact point, especially if you have like a, a neutral stance or a slightly semi-open as she's got here, you can see that the contact is just in front of her front foot, which is great. That allows her to swing up and through contact and she gets a ton of top spin. It's a consistent contact point. Many recreational players though, they contact back here and it's because their hips don't turn. We know that hip rotation is what brings the racket through. We can see, look at her hips turn. Here her hips are facing the camera. Here her hips are facing over the net. That's what brings the racket through. But what brings the hips through or what allows the hips to come through? Believe it or not, it's actually your non-hitting hand. When you take your racket back with both hands and you have your non-hitting hand behind your non-hitting shoulder, it is vital that you bring the non-hitting hand back forward again. If you do not, it will impede hip turn, your body will stay to the side, and you'll actually end up contacting the ball late. You see coaches all the time talk about hip rotation, and it is so important. But the reason players are not turning their hips, if you actually look at their non-hitting hand, the non-hitting hand is staying. Once the non-hitting hand moves forward and across the body, that's what unlocks the hips to rotate. That's what allows the contact point to actually be out in front. If you want to start contacting out in front, yes, you got to turn your hips, but really focus. Once you take the racket back with both hands and coil, then you've got to make sure that you bring this non-hitting hand back forward again so that you can uncoil. That is how you're going to get incredible hip rotation and contact out in front. Here's another example of a pro, obviously, Novak, using that non-hitting hand move. So here he's taken the racket back with both hands. So his non-hitting hand is back. Now, if you're someone who struggles turning your hips, then focus on the non-hitting hand coming forward. Watch his non-hitting hand go forward. This is so important. Now, there are players who will say, no, 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 Ryan, it's going forward because he's turning his hips. Nah, uh uh if you keep your non-hitting hand here, it will impede your hip turn. Even if you're trying to turn the hips, if you're the type of person who is doing everything you can to turn your hips, if your non-hitting hand is staying back, it like blocks the hips from turning. So instead of worrying about your hips, unlock that left arm. Watch how his racket drops and his left hand goes forward. Watch this. Look how his non-hitting hand goes forward as the racket drops. I really want you to focus not on your hips, but on the non-hitting hand going forward after you take it back with the racket. That's what's going to allow you to contact out in front. You can see he's got this slightly closed racket face, just like Emma. This is absolutely the key to get you to turn your hips and have a consistent contact out in front. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Please go out and film yourself from the side and make sure that as your racket's dropping, the non-hitting hand is swinging forward. If you do this, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.